Hey everybody, here's a special segment of Just Jasmine. So this is kind of super unscripted and really raw, but I just really wanted to share what I experienced today. So a little background. <laughs> Lately, I've been re-listening to some of the audiobooks I have by Gabrielle Bernstein. I know I've posted on Instagram before how much I love her book, Spirit Junkie and The Universe Has Your Back. I'm a real big fan of hers. <laughs> Anyway, recently um, I was re-listening to, I think it was Spirit Junkie, and one of the quotes says that miracles are natural and it's weird when they don't occur. That's the Jasmine edited version. <laughs> I can't think of the exact quote now, but basically it was just um, conveying that miracles are a natural occurrence. And she also describes in that book that a miracle is nothing more than a shift in perception. And so kind of working with that as a background of um, how I approach this day, Today was not going well. I, um, I made a really, I put a weird ingredient in my smoothie. I think it was maybe, <laughs> I tried to add like greens to it. I've been adding like different vegetables to my morning smoothie. Um, and usually you can't really taste that much like celery or cucumber, I can't really taste it that much. But then I added cucumber, which, I mean, I'm sorry, I added broccoli, which maybe you're thinking like, that wasn't very smart, but at 6.30 this morning, I didn't think that was weird. So I just added it and it was so gross. It made me sick to my stomach. And of course, like then I was hungry because I already, you know, was leaving to go to work. And so it was, I guess my day started off bad because of that smoothie. Um, but also mixed in with that, I had several appointments that I wanted to try and make because I was getting my official graduation pictures done later on today. And then, of course, today happened to be very, very cloudy in Lubbock. And I was just kind of thinking, anything that can go wrong is going wrong right now. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I like went to the store because I had ordered some shoes and they had it under like, uh, my PayPal name is different than my name because I just get weird about putting all my information on the internet and so I forgot that so I gave them like my name not the PayPal name so they kind of gave me a hard time about that um, which just put me in a bad mood. I kind of had some m miscommunication with the makeup artist because I don't really wear makeup. I don't know if y'all noticed that. I'm not really good at applying it. Um, it makes me very like nervous and self-conscious, but I figured, you know, these are nice professional photos. I want it to go well. And so I just set up an appointment, but because I don't know the lingo that well, we were having a hard time communicating. And then I was following up with the photographers to confirm and there was a miscommunication there and I didn't hear from them. And so I was like, okay, this is just one of those you know, really bad days. And I was just getting so frustrated. And I just kept thinking to myself, um, okay, Jasmine, like, how can you see this differently? How can you make the best of the situation? You know, maybe it's good that it's 50 degrees outside and cloudy, because now at least you won't be sweating during your pictures. Or I was thinking maybe, you know, I've learned a little bit about makeup lingo now. So the next time I have it done, I'll know what to say. Like I was trying so hard to stay positive, but really, really feeling like kind of not positive. <laughs> um, but I was just trying to stay in that mindset, but I just kept envisioning myself calling my mom at the end of the day and being like, couldn't get the pictures done, wasted money on the makeup. It's not even good, like all these things. But I think she did a great job. I mean, I don't know, y'all be the judge. I don't. I get really weird about makeup because I feel like it forces people to judge how you're looking and that makes me self-conscious, but that's neither here nor there. My point is, in the midst of trying to think positively, of course I was silently freaking out about not hearing back from the photographer, given the fact that our scheduled appointment time was like an hour away. <laughs> I ended up thinking, okay, what's a solution here? In Bible class, just yesterday, we had talked about um, a way of being creative is to think of creative solutions to problems. So maybe in your mind you think logically this isn't working out um, because of logic. However, if you tap into your creativity, that doesn't just mean being a painter or a songwriter or something like that. You can also think of creative solutions. That's also a part of expressing your creativity. And so I was like, what can I do? today to make this happen without a photographer. But I have a camera <laughs> and I have a tripod. So, you know, two out of three things. I just need someone to press the button. So I texted some of my friends here in Lubbock and one of them really, really came through for me. I was just so excited that they were even available because it's a super random thing. I literally said, who's available to help me with an impromptu photo shoot in one hour? <laughs> and she was available. And so I was just super excited about that. 
Um, and not only that, but then, you know, the clouds were clearing, like literally in this hour of this miracle, this shift in perception of creative solutions to this problem, the clouds cleared, the sky was so blue. As annoyed as I was at the weather, I love the Lubbock sky <laughs> because it always shows this wide open space of just you know, white clouds, blue skies, and it's really, really beautiful. And so I just felt like, I don't know, it was just a miracle because everything that seemed like it wasn't gonna work out did work out. Me and a makeup person like, you know, started to understand each other. There was a service that I didn't receive that I ended up receiving and I was just happy that that was all covered under the price because <laughs> at first she wasn't going to do like eyeshadow or anything but it was just miscommunication. Um, so that got cleared up in that same like miracle hour. Uh, oh my light just went out. Well that's okay I'll keep talking because <laughs> I'm wrapping this up um, and it was just a really fun photo shoot. I just enjoyed the weather, enjoyed being with a friend. Um, we did as many shots as I liked <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have been able to do so with a photographer who I had paid for a specific amount of time. So I just honestly felt like everything worked out the way it was supposed to in the most perfect way it could have. And that's just something I wanted to share with you all to keep in mind. Whenever you're having a day that seems like anything that can go wrong will go wrong, maybe try to think of you know an alternative way of thinking about it as frustrating as it might be i wasn't sitting there smiling you know as i was thinking about you know what the possible positive outcomes could be i think i was really being like well yeah right but i think that even just attempting to try to be positive um helped me open up that little like creative corner in my mind that said oh wait i can just text some friends to help me do this it doesn't have to be this big fancy photographer, you know, let's just see what happens now. What's the harm? And so I think like, even though I was feeling generally negative, just trying to hold on to that little sliver of pos uh, positivity was helpful. And um, it just reminded me of that uh, chapter I listened to um, on Gabby Bernstein's book last night about how a miracle is just simply a shift in perception. Like it can happen from moment to moment. How can I see this differently? And so, I don't know, I, that's a little bit of a ramble. I said it was a little bit raw, but I just really wanted to share it because it was, I don't know, I feel like this vlog is all about finding a better way. So this was my tip of finding a better way to see things differently, find creative solutions. Remember that a miracle is nothing more than a shift in your perception and just see what unfolds. So that's it for this segment of Just Jasmine and I hope it really helps you one day. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you guys later.